Hi everybody, John Swan with the Mitt.TV. Once again, I'm not at a football or baseball or soccer event. I'm here at Romeo Middle School and I am with Mr. Brad Wentz, one of the teachers here. And this is in regards to, well, St. Baldrick's. See the good green hair? We're still raising money, trying to raise some money. And the reason I'm here with Mr. Wentz is he is, well, you know what? Brad, why don't you tell us the story? Well, a few years back, uh, this is my eighth year being shaved this year, and the seventh year for my team, the Bald Bulldogs, made up mostly of Romeo Middle School students and their friends and family and friends of mine. Um, so in the past, we've had maybe 20 to 30 students on the team, raising around $10,000 each year. This year, I wanted to try something a little different, so I went around the community and asked for donations for prizes to do a school-wide raffle. So we've got a big raffle that's been going on this week, uh, culminating to the prize giveaways, and today, uh, one of the big prizes is a student has won the chance to shave my head. Um, so they'll be the St. Baldrick's shaver for me today and uh, giving me my haircut. Okay, so that's 10 years, of, no, wait a minute, I'm eight years, mm -hmm. 10,000 a year, so that's $80,000 you've rough, roughly raised? Yeah, I, I'd say we're, we're somewhere between seventy dollars and $80,000 that our uh, small team of middle school students has put together. We usually we end up in, in usually the top three or four uh, teams for the Romeo event. And we were talking earlier, you said this is your eighth year. Now, I'm just actually really getting into the St. Baldrick's uh, spirit, shall we say. Um, Cancer has affected me and my family many different ways over the years. What got you motivated to, to start doing this? Well, I've had the, the blessing of not having cancer affect my wife, myself, my children. Um, I've had family members be affected, but you know, obviously being a teacher, being a middle school teacher, um, kids are what I'm all about. So when I saw that this uh, foundation, St. Baldrick's Foundation, supported and focused their efforts on childhood cancer research, um, I thought it was a great idea. and and. I've been blessed with my children being very healthy, so I couldn't imagine what it would be like to have them go through something like this. So anything that I could do, um, I thought shaving my head was, was a no-brainer. So again, back to um, personal awards that are given out, I guess call it an award, to participants like you, and I'm going to be first time shavey tomorrow. Can you tell me about what happens if you're, this is your, your eighth, what happens at your seventh year uh, shaving? So in your seventh year, you become a knight of the bald table. And the, the St. Baldrick's uh, organization does a really great job of, of commemorating that milestone. Um, last year I was, I was knighted, and they do the whole knighting ceremony with the sword and everything and, and touch each shoulder, and it was... Um, it was a moving event. You know, I, I figured seven years, seven haircuts, uh, it, was, it was something special, but actually being there and going through that ceremony, um, I was surprised at how, how moving it was. Now, a good friend of mine, Adam File, was mentioning that there's some students that are going to meet that milestone today. Uh, do you have their names? Can you give them their credit? Well, I do want to mention um, Joey Rinke. I believe he is the student that's going to be knighted this year. I think this is his seventh year. Um, but in addition to that, uh, Joey's just been a fantastic fundraiser each year. I think this year he's, he's in multiple thousand dollars that he's raised. Wow. He's, running a, uh, he's running an event uh, or has run events um, to help raise that money. He's, he's one of the, uh, the all-stars of our Bald Bulldogs team. And you, uh, obviously, I see you have a little list of uh, yes. some people you would like to thank. That's, here's your chance. Give them, uh, give them their credit for, for efforts that they've helped you. Thank you. Uh, the community has been fantastic. It's been really, um, really humbling to see how everybody's been willing to jump in and support and throw in some prizes. First of all, I'd like to thank Mrs. Zeal and her Builders Club, the students here. Uh, they've been spearheading the ticket sales. They've been doing a fantastic job. Uh, I couldn't have done this raffle this year without their help. Um, the Romeo Kiwanis Club, they also donated money to um, allow us to go and buy some prizes. Fams in town donated a gift pack that was probably over $150 worth of merchandise. 
any time that, that we ask Zach for help, he's there to help us out. Vera's donated a great prize. Wendy's, McDonald's, Tubby's, the Romeo Theater. Dollar General gave us money so that we could buy uh, candy and pop as smaller prizes if the students didn't win one of the big prize packs. Our Romeo Middle School store, Orem Jewelers in Rochester, Tubby's, Dairy Queen. Also, I wanted to thank uh, Mr. Martz and Mr. Jones, my building administrators, the head administration for Romeo Community Schools allowing us to do this, and the Outdoor Adventure Center in Detroit has also donated um, to four family, four person family prize packs as well. Well, I want to personally take the time to thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you. Um, we see the green hair. You still got time to get on the internet. It's RomeoSB.com and search for your favorite team. My team, MIT team, I mean, team MIT.tv. You can even donate to the middle school so that it's all, they'll take donations all the way up till tomorrow's shearing, shall we say. Yeah. And your site, your group again? We're the Bald Bulldogs and actually our, our page will be available up through the weekend and, and into the next couple of weeks, into the next month. So those donations can come in at any point. So if you're out and about Saturday tomorrow from 11 till 6 o'clock roughly, stop by, say hi to either one of us or any of the other Shavies. Tell them thank you for doing their small part to help childhood cancer. Once again, John Swan with the MIT.TV, Brad Wentz, Romeo Middle School. Thank you very much. And with me, this young lady is? Alyssa Barrett. And Alyssa, you um, have a very important role today. Could you explain it to us? Um, I won a raffle, and I'm going to shave my science teacher's head. And how cool is that? Pretty cool. Is he a good teacher? You get good grades? Or are you uh, going to be gentle so you do get good grades? Um, I'm getting pretty good grades so far, so I think I'm good. OK. So. Now. How did, how did this raffle come about, and how did you get in and, and whatnot? Um, well, we're doing a raffle for St. Baldrick's, and uh, he announced it over the morning announcements, and I thought it would be pretty cool to say I saved my science teacher's head, so I put money in, and I won. So. And what grade are you in? Sixth. Sixth grade, so you're still here next year, right? Yes. Okay. So I see... Uh, Little smiling face over there. Uh, Brad, any last words before we lead you to the uh, shearing? No, I, I trust Alyssa 100% and uh, I'm ready to go. So she's getting an A next uh, semester, right? We'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we are ready to shoot. Would you like to take the seat of honor? Beautiful. Okay, have at it. Enjoy. However you want, just don't move. Brad, does it hurt? No, she's doing a great job. Great. He's doing a fine job back here. Brad, where did you go to college? I went to Western Michigan University. A Bronco all the way. Maybe that would explain that little horseshoe tattoo back there on that side. <laughs>
Okay, listen, now that you're done, um, you're gonna be getting an A, I think. Have you ever thought of becoming a professional hairdresser? No. I would definitely look into it as a career choice. Did a great job over here, and thank you very much. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.